Prior to this past year, vegetarians were super foreign to me. I actually didn't know the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan. I thought that if you're a vegetarian, then just drink some protein shakes, have some tempeh or tofu, and you'll be all good. But honestly, my methods for working with vegetarians did not work as good as if I was giving somebody a plan that ate meat. So I really had to dive deep into this topic about being a vegetarian and helping them lose weight because honestly, I've looked everywhere and there's nobody really diving deep into this topic. And if there was somebody talking about it, then it was just super confusing. So today, my goal is to simplify my findings after research and what I found to work for vegetarians that are looking to lose weight. So if you're a vegetarian and you're looking for guidance on how you can drop weight and keep it simple, then go to the website www.fitclub.fit and mention a belly burn. So if you're a vegetarian and you're looking to lose weight, now the main thing that we need to monitor is your fiber intake. We need to compare your pre-diet or pre-belly burn fiber intake compared to your fiber intake when you start a belly burn. Because when you get into a belly burn plan or a diet plan, what ends up happening is that we start eating clean. And when you start eating clean and you're a vegetarian, what ends up happening is the food that you're eating is really high in fiber. When in compared to you might be doing takeout or you might be eating box foods. So vegetarians need to really be on your hydration game because each gram of fiber requires double the amount of water in order for the fiber to be digested properly. So you can't just think you're drinking enough. You need to actually develop a method to ensure you're getting your three to four liters in a day, especially when your fiber is in the 20, 30, or even 40 plus grams of fiber per day. So fiber, in order for it to move through the body, it needs proper amounts of water so that it can sponge up and then move through your digestive system. What ends up happening to a lot of vegetarians is their fiber intake goes up, their water intake stays the same, and so the fiber ends up binding in the body, but it doesn't move through as quickly as it should, thus making you retain water and making you gain false weight. You might not be gaining fat, but you could be holding more water, which is making you way more on the scale. So the main thing right there is that you need to make sure that you've increased your water intake as you increase your fiber intake. So here's the big debate. How many calories should a vegetarian eat? Now, most of us gurus are going to preach that it's calories in and calories out. But I honestly don't think that's so. Because when you're eating a vegetarian diet, again, the amount of fiber that you're consuming is naturally going to go up because a lot of the plant-based proteins have high fiber. And so if somebody is burning, let's say, 3,000 calories a day, you would tell that person, well, you need to eat roughly 2,500 calories a day or 3,000 calories a day to keep you in a slight deficit. But if this vegetarian was eating that much in plant-based food, then that would mean that their fiber intake would be like 50 to 80 grams per day. And for somebody that isn't six foot four and maybe 225 pound linebacker for the bombers, this person should not and could not eat that much fiber because it would just make them blimp up and blow up. And so this person might actually only need to eat about 1800 calories, even though they're burning about 3000 calories according to their watch, because the fiber adds more bulk, making them feel full. So would this person have a decline in energy? I don't think so, because the amount of food that they're consuming is enough to give them the energy that they need to survive through their day, but the foods that they're eating is generally high, higher in nutrients and higher in fiber, thus keeping them fuller and providing their body with everything that they need in order for them to feel energetic and to feel full, but also keep them in a caloric deficit that's going to help them to lose weight. So there we have it, guys. The main thing when it comes to being a vegetarian and losing weight is that you got to go off how you're feeling because a typical diet doesn't apply to you. Whereas somebody can eat 3000 calories, but those 3000 calories can come from different sources that a vegetarian wouldn't touch. You got to understand that the vegetarian diet generally is a lot cleaner 
provides a lot more nutrients and it provides a lot more bulk to the food. And so your 3000 calories versus an average person's 3000 calories that's eating meat and other foods is completely different. You also have to make sure that you're monitoring your fiber intake because if your fiber intake is going well above what your body can handle and store, you're going to feel natural bloat and you're gonna hold the water and it's not gonna digest properly. And when you say that you're drinking enough water, you actually have to be conscious of how many liters of water that you're drinking. Now you might need more water than the average person just for digestive purposes only. So when you're consuming your water, you really have to be in tune with your body knowing when you feel full because you actually might be full on less and that's coming from the fiber and the nutrients that your vegetarian diet is giving you. So it's a really day by day monitoring system and you really have to find and fine tune to know exactly what works for you in order for you to start losing weight. Now, this all might be a little bit confusing and you might need a little bit more assistance. So if you do and you're vegetarian, go to www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and we'll be able to help you out today.